Um, in terms of uh, the main sort of criticisms we get is it's, it's the wrong type of rain. We don't fly in rain. We don't fly in snow. We don't fly in poor weather. Uh, and that's not, not true at all. Uh, our daylight uh, limits are 1,500 metres and 400 foot cloud base. Um, and our nighttime limits are 5 kilometres and 800 foot cloud base. Uh, and we can reduce that 5 kilometres down to 3 kilometres uh, in lit areas. And those really are, both day and night, uh, the, the absolute limits that you'd want to be flying in. Uh, and certainly, you know, at times we will add a little bit to um, those limits depending on the stability of the weather and, wh and whether it's deteriorating or not. Um, and with MPAS, we're traveling long distances. It's 90 miles to the uh, North Norfolk coast. It's 45 minutes there, 45 minutes there, 45 minutes back. That's 90 minutes, half an hour on scene for two hours. So um, if I'm tracking out of here, um, I won't be back for two hours. So I've got to anticipate what the weather's going to be in two hours time. So it may be clear at the destination at the moment, Equally well, it may be really poor weather here uh, with the sort of distances we're traveling. Uh, equally well, it might be clear weather there, but by the time we get out and back, uh, we won't be able to complete the job. Uh, but rest assured, um, if it's humanly possible, we're, we're up for it and we're out there and we're flying in the minimum conditions uh, for a visual flight rules flight that you'd really want to be out. And, and it gets very uncomfortable very quickly when we are on those limits uh, and they start to deteriorate around us.